The party that everybody has planned. It's going to be a terrific one. Looking forward to it, Krista. Oh, absolutely, Ashley and Mary. Confidence builders, eight midcourt shots at shoot-around. That's a big plus for his young team. Yeah, we've been to a lot of those, and I don't think I've ever seen eight. They're just hoping for somebody to hit one, typically. But we are underway to tip to the Beavers. No seniors on this Oregon State team. But this young team has great chemistry, and they are finding a way to get their W's. It's a very deep team, a lot of options for Coach Ruick. Can't quite say the same for Tara Van Vier, especially at the post position. Yep, certainly so, but it's gone almost a takeaway. Active hands, shot clock was down to three. That went around and out for Hunter, but there is Reese, another chance for Oregon State. Both teams today, strong rebounding teams, but without Cameron Brink out there, gotta be boxing out if you're Stanford. And that one just missing. Oregon State comes in a loss at Cal. They were down the majority of that game, but the fourth quarter was all Beavers. They got the win on Friday. Very often off the backboard too much. And they got the win scoring 31 yeah. points in the fourth quarter over at Haas Pavilion across the bay. It was an amazing fourth quarter performance by this very young team. Oh, and the bench in particular coming in 46 points as Dimitri hand in the passing lane with the takeaway. And here he often on the trail lays it up good. First points of the ball game to Stanford. A great job by Dimitri, but terrific patience by Bozgana. Sometimes she can get a little rush. She really waited, listened, and found Erie often. Between the legs, using the screen, Von Ohoffen with the bucket. The junior from Tri-Cities, Washington. Could play so many roles for this team. Facilitator, big-time scorer, rebounder, whatever they need. Boy, how happy they are to have her healthy this year. She was plagued with several injuries as Erie often thought we were told us, hey, this team can play fast. We haven't always had a group that I'd say get out and run, especially against the Stanford Cardinal team. But Ohoffen finds an opening. Dimitri, her first start of her career up high. The junior filling in for Cameron Brink. Oscana and the D right there. And there is Tara Vanderveer, the head coach of the Stanford Cardinal team in her 38th season here. 1,202 all-time wins tied with Coach Krzyzewski at Duke. Former Duke legendary coach and trying to get 1203, but Oregon State actually said it. They have other plans. Wreck the party, break up the party. There were a lot of party references, yes. but without a doubt, they just want to come out here, play well. At the air ball, we'll send it the other direction. And she gives them an, just a, an entirely new dimension. Transfer from Utah a season ago. She was part of the championship regular season team. Polo weaving around. That leaves Dimitri wide open. High Archer, just short, and the Lose it out of bounds. And this is what the Cardinal are missing today, Mary. Cameron Brink, 6'4", senior, out with the lower leg injury. Right. She hurt that at, with 6'15 into Friday's game against Oregon. In those minutes, she had six points, two rebounds, an assist, and a block. She was absolutely on fire. A little bit of a collision with her lower leg. And she is day-to-day. Yeah, they will want to get her back sooner than later, but so thankful that it wasn't anything major. They are hoping to get her back as soon as they can. As that one's knocked out, Stanford will take. Jalen Brown goes off for 34 points. Cal wins, so they split the weekend. And Washington State, who started Pac-12 play 0-3, now level at 3-3. Three three. Charlize Ledger Walker with a double double that we expected and that you can run with. When you get the ball, you got to go. However, if, if anything, maybe it is favoring Oregon State right now. Well, I think the thing that Tara Vandiver would be very happy about is that Reagan Beers has not taken a shot. <laughs> True. Two freshmen and a sophomore on the floor as well. Absolutely. Two, two sophomores, excuse me. Yeah, they have no seniors on the roster. The junior here, the veteran, Von Ohoffen. Quickly into Beers. They want to get her the touch and the look at the Ron, Reagan Beers, and or Cameron Brink on the floor. So, interesting minutes. And a jump out there for Stanford. You know she can get it going. Hasn't taken a shot yet. She'll draw a lot of attention. Dimitri, high archer this time. Dimitri, both of them absolutely outstanding three-point shooters. 
And then a takeaway. Pass off the mark. The polo there. Out running and one too many passes. Well, and Polo just changed her mind and yeah. it was not a great decision. Yep. Tossed it away. Dimitri with three points. The mismatch right now. Can Stanford get the switch back? They're able to. Outside, able to connect Gardner, missing though, bringing her in to be that spark jump off the back of the rim. Another chance, long rebound to Aguera. Just under a minute left in the first quarter. It has been fast and low scoring so far. Polo with some contact. I'm going right at it on this one. Yeah, not going to change your mind on that one. Up to the largest lead now, up by four. It's been that close. Hands first. One was the money ball. A sophomore from Green Bay, Wisconsin. A go to Hannah Jump, needing some help. Aguera, hesitation, steps it up. Short, long rebound. Dimitri got the shot off, but it won't. And you see the numbers in the first quarter, Marin. What's really standing out to me is that Stanford's doing a great job on the board. Six O boards in particular, but they've only converted to three points. You see the shooting differentials, though. I think Stanford's had some great looks at the basket. Just ha they have not gone down. Dimitri, ball fake. Gets him. Nothing but net. That's it landed by Lapolo. Defensive help. It's a shot clock was winding down, but the long rebound again to Oregon State. Eve's not giving up on it. And Donovan Hunter, the freshman point guard, looking to Coach Ruick. High screen, steps it in, just misses. Buscana using the screen, just missing. Shots just not dropping. But you said it, good looks, just not going. But the drive is there and good. Very often high to low. It's moving out of the Czech Republic. Yeah, Coach Rook saying she's just fearless. You know, she's not going to stop unless you stop her. What a lofty pass. Stanford not able to get it. Beers on the left side. How do you stop that unless you get an early double? Uses her body so well. You know, and drops some anchors. Yeah. <laughs> the control. And Oregon State back up. Ariel could not find an angle to Erie often. But they find her in the she just plays. It's just like floating on water, right? Like everything, I'll just find another angle. Sweet she confidence. Seems so calm and cool this her junior season for Erie Offen. Oh, oh, wow. wow. She could just play anywhere on the floor, and her stroke from distance is really sweet. 6'3 sophomore out of Ogden, Utah, part of the number three recruit class last year that came in for the Beavs. Oh, and a travel call and a driver for everything. No matter where they got to go. And there's a lefty drive from Parova. No good. But she gets it back with the D for Stanford. Finally, the takeaway. Janaya Harriel running the point. Polo. Little hezzy. Too much. And a whistle and a foul this year. And Tara said she's fine with that. Cal, the, the kickoff conference, just left her alone. Yeah. Came in, knocked down a bunch of shots, and now. An old hop in. High screen from Beers. Takes it left, some contact, no whistle either side. Very often high post, round it out. Hunter on the drive, maybe. Very often get a piece of it. Aguera brings it up. Very often was by herself momentarily. Make it by Harriel because she could knock down that three. Quick shot from the rock, long rebound, another chance for Oregon State. And smart decision by Talia Von Allhoffen, the quick hands from Harriel. The steal, the layout for four and a half left in this first half. Gotta love it when the defense can create some of your offense. Von Allhoffen trying to draw some contact, no whistle. Tara asking for it. Five lead changes, four ties. The largest lead has only been four by Stanford. Here we go, using the screen. Here we often working hard. Extra chance, puts it back. But anytime you can take off the clock because Scott Ruick's teams love to run their sets. Rock gets the shooter's touch. A first year player at this level, you hit conference play and then you start to see, that's what Coach Ruick said. We'll see how our depth is as we get into the Pac-12 season. 
Minute and a half left in the first half. Erie often facing up one on one. Beers gets her in the air, sticks it. Hunter asking for the screen from Beers. Shot clock to four. Beers high post swish. Composure by the sophomore. She's got eight points. Man, you talk about steady. She just competes every second she's on the floor. So calm. Lapolo getting into the act. They're going to need the sophomore point guard. It's not a, a floater. It, it's not a jump shot. Five points back to a four-point lead. That's the largest this entire game. Hands for Jess. As Lapolo will wait. Clock. At 10. Jumping Erie Offen in the high post. And it goes to Erie Offen. Tries to get a little closer. Weaves her way up and gets it to trickle over. That's called using the clock. And nobody happier than Cameron Brink. And the Cardinal on a 10-4 run the last four. four. There's a lot of... of seriousness and professionalism with Tara, but there's a funny kind of quirky fun side as well. Look, Coach Tara is one of my favorite people on this planet, and the fact that we all potentially, I mean, fingers crossed on my side, are hopefully <laughs> here to witness history, and this is a testament to family. She becomes family to everyone in this program, and I mean, to make this milestone, I'm not surprised because she approaches each day the same. 1,202 and counting three, fingers crossed. Um, I, I, I just feel grateful and blessed to say I played for the, the greatest of all time. You talk about family. What has she meant to the Ogumike family, to Neka, Olivia, to Erica, and your mom and dad? Yeah, ending with dad is perfect because literally yep. my dad's favorite person on this planet <laughs> is Coach Tara because he just truly respects, uh, he truly respects how Coach approaches the game. Preparation is key. If you're prepared, you have an opportunity to be successful, and that's one thing that she has taught us. You have, you will find no better scouting report than the one on Stanford University. You will find no more consistent practices than the ones you see on, at Stanford. And so she just prepares you for the work ethic that you need to succeed, not just as a basketball player, but just in life. And I think my dad is the number one fan of that. <laughs> I know, it's still Nerd Nation out here. Man, you know what's crazy? At the end of this year, it's going to be my 10-year wow, reunion. It blows by. It blows by. The cool thing is I got to play with different eras of Stanford. My seniors, I'm looking right across at Jeanette Poland, Lindy LaRock. Um, I had Kayla Peterson. Just some greats. And then obviously someone by the name of, like, what, Neko Gorge? You heard of her. I know you heard too. I know you want to mention Even Jane Appel. Do you want to mention Jane Appel? Jane Appel, my big sis from another miss, at, like, who really <laughs> taught us the, like, the, how great you could be as a post player here at Stanford. And then I'm looking across, like Coach Tempe coached me, Coach Kate coached me, and then Bird was my freshman. Yeah. So it's like, it's just, that's why I say it's family. Like, we, we all stay in touch and we're all just grateful to be here to celebrate the greatest. By so much fun. But Oregon State trying to be a spoiler here. They start out 4 0. Lindy LaRock in the house. There's Lou. The, hey, Lou. The now head she's coach doing at okay. UNLV. She's oh my doing gosh, all right. the job she's doing. But none of us are surprised, right? Nope, not at all. She was a coach on the floor with us. <laughs> oh, and that one rattles in. A.J. Murat from way outside. And Oregon State has seven a 7-0 run to take the lead. No surprise that Murat's getting it going. Just working hard to try to get herself out of that little gully she's been in. And she, she can score some points. Yeah, Coach Rook said, I believe in you. Your shot's going to come. He's going to give her the green light. Polo trying to answer back and does. Chimay, what's the mentality when you have a player like Cam that can't play? What, what, what goes on in a huddle and in a locker room that has to happen to pull out a win like this? When you talked about the growth of Hannah Jump in her game, and she was willing to wait her time as the right-handed drives good. We are all tied up once again. Freshman. Schuler has been really impactful. She was terrific in the second half against Cal on Friday. Defense. Oh. Nunu Aguera. Boy, what a great game she had Friday night. Six, uh, 12 points in 17 minutes. Three-point Stanford lead here in the third. And again, aggressive drive by Schuler, and she gets fouled. Valuable in the game, you know, being a good screener, how much it opens up for the guards. I really enjoy about Coach Scott Rook's teams. They play the game the right way. Their offense is meticulous. Every shot is well calculated. And, they, they, like, that's why this matchup is always good, no matter who's on the floor. The thing about Scott, it, it would be difficult for me as a player. I don't think I could remember all those plays. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there are, they say his, his playbook is just, like, very, very deep. 
Oh, that's relatable with Coach Tara as well. But yeah, I remember scouting, and we're like, sometimes it's like y'all just dug in, the, dig in there, and just play. <laughs> Let's just bring the D. How about that, right? Just be aggressive. <laughs> Still a three-point lead, a little over five minutes left in the third. And stepping back. No, I, I really am grateful. I mean, Coach Tara means the world to me. This program means the world to me. And, you know, I'm glad to be one of the favorites because I always assumed it was NECA, but I think I'm like that kid that everyone forgets in the corner. And it's not easy. I mean, we're seeing a lot of coaches that say, you know what, this is a difficult challenge to adapt to, but she's just found a way to be herself. And she has surrounded herself with... Her alums and with her her coaching staff, most of which have played here. Lapolo in the third quarter, 7-0 start for the Beavs, but then Stanford came right back at them. Iriatha and another cleanup for her. Working out together. I mean, what's better than that? Yeah, pretty exciting and knowing the ability and what she saw in Iriatha and even then, and then finding out she was going to be a Cardinal. Beers with a try at the cleanup. Another chance, the and one. Beers rocking at Maples, and it is as full as I've seen in a long time. Just the monster put back in the free throw. She struggled 3 of 12 from the free throw line on Friday night, so that's a big make for her. Yeah, certainly so. Here we are. Three-pointer of the season. Even Tara's on the bench clapping and kind of laughing. Erica McCall, 0 oh, for 3 prior to that make, and Erie Offen still smiling. Kiki Erie Offen in her junior season averaged 7 points last year, 4 boards in 12 minutes. She's averaging the double-double. How about the left side? Yes! What is happening? Oh, no. oh and that went around and out. Oh, but the and one opportunity for Beer is going to try to do it the hard way. Back-to-back -back Kiki threes. This is the first one of the season from the right baseline. Here's the second one of the season from the left baseline. And if you keep making them, Kiki, no one's going to be jumping up and down anymore. They're going to just expect it, <laughs> right? They'll say, why not? Why not more of that? But Beers still working hard inside, getting herself to the line, and gets a three-point play. What a job holding off Kiki Uriafin with that right forearm and just putting that shot in and then making it a three-point play. Fourth and one opportunity for Oregon State. Jump using the high screen. Gets it. Beers with 18. Hannah Jump, her first points of the game, Mayor. 0 for 4 prior to that. Here we often with 24. We got a minute and a half left in this quarter. And Beers working it inside. Back out to Schuler. Picked up by Harriel. And he works for three seconds. Parova on the drive and a whistle prior. Incredible. Just remarkable. Major bright side to this player. Gets them both. They need her leadership out there running things. Gives it to Ariatha and high post swish. And a chance here. Clock winding down. Schuler's got to recognize that we're at three. And loses her balance. Good D by Harriel to stop the play. What a job by Harriel taking away the right hand of Schuler. That's where she wanted to go. Very often. Absolutely take it. You said it. She'd never hit a three in her career, the junior. 0 for 3 coming into this game. And then decided, I've been working on this. And Reagan Beers in that third quarter, 10 points, six rebounds, three of them offensive. Yeah, she was big for the Beavs. One more quarter. Very often they go to in Italy, they bring Reese in. But here he often just keeps on going, 28 points. She was so big at Cal she really on was. Friday. Maybe she can be an option. Fourth quarter heroics, to say the least. Hannah Jump. Now it around. Harriel comes down with it. Another chance. Way to guard more. Looks like Harriel has uh, Velcro on her hands. She has come up with some big plays today. Yeah. Only a couple of points, but it's all those other things. Her defense has really made a difference. Re-offense, scores it up, sticks it. 
And a jump. It only takes one to get her going, but she's had a tough time. 0 for 6 behind the arc. And that one rattles down. Hansford with the three ball. Exactly what Oregon State needed. With a drive at the other end. Double, double for Reagan Beers. And a fight from the takeaway. Speaking of defense from Harriel. Hands it to Erie Offen. Give her some more. Beers. That one almost fell. Long rebound into the hands of Oregon State. Still time left in this one. Gardner. Hey, Katie Stedding. Yep. Now Bird on the sideline as well. A lot of different generations and groups, but all have the same message. Krista, we talked about it in the open that Kiki Iriafa needed to be great in this game for Stanford to win, and that's exactly what she has done. So. Shot clock down to five. Clardy takes the jumper, just missing. And the takeaway, Clardy forcing that one. Dimitri, coast to coast, lays it up for Nikki Iriafin. Career high, 34 points on 16 of 26. And knocking down her first threes of her career. Just five turnovers. Taking care of the ball and 16 off of the 12 forced turnovers. Both free throws good. The polo using the screen. Shot clock down to two. We are under one minute. That one goes in to another level. Dimitri has in this one. Erie often new career high. All trying to get this W for their head coach. Gardner, the swish, another one. Much different set that they had last time. Yep. Spread the floor. And Iriafin gets it. A year ago, Kiki Iriafin averaged seven points a game. In the biggest game of her career, and one that could live on forever, she is having the game of her life. It's the first. She's the only player in the nation, Mayor, that has multiple 25-point, 16-plus rebound games against ranked opponents. She, she really steps up in the big moments. Hadn't made a three in her career. <laughs> and today, right side, left side, like she was playing around the world in right. her backyard. She gets them both. 36, a new career high for her. That one won't go for Marat. And Erie often knocks it off of the beads. It'll go the other way. And Oregon State's going to apply some full court pressure. Lapolo trying to get a timeout, I thought. Crowd rises. That's a tough corner to inbound it. And they get it to Lapolo. Just like we're getting away from the sideline. We're spreading the floor. Aguera out to Clardy. This crowd can feel it. And they are chanting Tara. And there it is. Win 17 for the Stanford Cardinal, but an even bigger one for Tara Vanderveer in the history of the game with win 12. And this crowd not going anywhere, Mayor. They are on their feet and loving every minute of this. I remember Tara. I was 18. She sat us in a room. We were working at camp in Carthage College, and she handed every one of us a piece of paper and a pen and said, write down your favorite play. That is Tara Vanderveer. Inquisitive, passionate, loves the game of basketball, and loves winning. Mary, she probably took one of your plays, and she's been using it all these years. <laughs> Let's bring Ashley in now. She's standing by with the all-time winning as Coach Tara. Ash? Tara Vanderveer, such a moment for you. You've had so many big moments in your career. What does it feel like right now? Well, how about Kiki Iriafin? How about Delana Lapolo? What a ball game. And I, I just want to say this. Oregon State played a great game, and their whole team was so classy coming through the line congratulating me. And that's a reflection of Scott and their program. So I, I'm really excited for our team and to be able to share it with all these fans. That's awesome. And thank you, Ashley. Oh, thank you, Tara.
Cash here. I just love it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh. But uh, it, I, Sinead! It's so exciting. I'm so excited just to see everybody. I know that this is such a big moment. I want you to go celebrate it with your with your friends and your family and all your former players. I know you don't want the attention, Coach, but can you reflect on what this milestone means to you? Um, it means I've coached a lot of great players, had great staff, worked at great universities, and I'm just so blessed and so thankful. And hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Thank you, Tara. Go enjoy it. Do and achieve your craft at the highest level and yet still be totally about others. And that is exactly what Tara Vander represents. It's never about her. It's always about her players and elevating the game of college basketball. Such an unbelievable moment. Enjoy the moment. Take it in. And don't move on to the next game. Just really appreciate everything that this, this means. I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. It is so exciting to have you all here. What a great game, what a great game. Um, you know, I just, uh, I just love how our team battled. How about Kiki? Uh, uh, you know, it, it's so exciting. I just wanna say, uh, Oregon State is a great team. And I said this on television, when I went through the line, Every one of their players congratulated me, and that's a reflection of Scott and the great program they have. We have the number one, number one league in the country. We have great competition, and it's uh, really special to win a game and have you all here and celebrate. It's also really special to have so many former players come back. J Jane, I was ready to put you in, Jane. Lindy, Chene. Uh, it's, it's so exciting to see everybody. Um, thank you all very much for coming out. I really appreciate it. So, Roz, come on up. You, somebody else knows what to say better than me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Such a historic moment that we were getting ready to, you know, achieve. So I think I was playing for Cameron and for Tara, and of course my teammates. All right, so now we'd like to hear from Coach K. Coach Krzyzewski had some words for Tara Vanderveer. Tar, congratulations, what an amazing achievement. And what's even more amazing is the manner in which you achieved so many victories. Wow, you've been such a great representative for our great sport. And you know what? You have helped Stanford immensely in the way that you have coached and handled yourself and the way your teams have played and displayed sportsmanship uh, throughout. So congratulations. Really happy for you. Her very first win was trying to bring back the big, the big collar look, and you never know. I think it has come back again. When I was a young girl, I loved the game of basketball from the third grade on. My parents would say, Tara, come in and do your algebra homework. Basketball is never going to take you anywhere. a coach that our players want as a coach. I want to be someone that they want to play hard for, that they want to work hard for and they want to please. That's my goal all the time, to be a great coach for them. The people in the locker room, that's who I work for. project. I challenge myself daily to give back to the game by being a positive teacher, encouraging mentor, and passionate guardian of the game I love.
fight for each other. It's about them. Ladies and gentlemen, Tara Vanderveer.